Hi, this is Sean McGill from PDA247 and this is the HTC Hero. It's been released with a huge amount of fanfare and lots of discussion already over the web regarding how good it is. Well, I have to say I've had this since this morning, so all in all about 12 hours and I can certainly see where most of these reviewers are coming from. HTC over the last <coughs> couple of years has released a variety of devices all under the Windows Mobile platform and all relatively uninspiring. But the Hero is different. It's not necessarily different in terms of the hardware. Obviously this lip we have here is quite unusual. We have a trackball again unusual for HTC and what else have we got well that's about it really the, the white plastic is different it's not as slippery as most other phones and that could be anything from the Storm to the iPhone to um, well most of them even a lot of the Windows mobile phones such as the Touch Pro 2 have a certain lack of friendliness when it comes to keeping them in your grip. The Hero is very different. The main thing that sets it apart is the software. The interface is fantastic. It's lovely to use. As an example, there's Twitter. I'll click that and we get the full Twitter feed. As you can see, it's all very smooth. Everything just reacts again you get you've got web now the web browser not often been that impressed by any web browser apart from the iPhone this one is better it genuinely is better than the iPhone browser everything about it obviously the speed helps we've got HSDPA here but when I'm going through just the normal details of or, or, or the normal maneuvers of looking at a web page and scrolling through what I'm finding with this particular browser is it feels incredibly natural as an example this is not on Wi-Fi by the way I haven't I haven't um, connected to Wi-Fi at the moment as an example as a standard news article the text is a little bit small so I'll double tap does go back up to the top but now you can see the text slightly larger and it can be set any way you want obviously you've got the acceler accelerometer again very smooth it just moves immediately the interface is where most of the attention will go though and certain parts are very like the later Windows Mobile devices as you can see I can scroll through these emails I can have a look at my MS Exchange account and it's all it's all laid out it's almost palm pre like in the way it works you can see there there's no real delays you get the occasional lag but I'm certainly not suffering anything that many other people talk about just the general way it all works it's ultra impressive and it's actually really good fun to use w one other thing that surprised me um, after many months using one of these the iPhone what surprised me is how much I missed the ability to do what I want on a phone and for example simple little things like I'm, I might want to personalize the theme I can change scenes. You've got all these different scenes here set up, preloaded anyway. The only thing that does slow a little bit is when you actually do change the scenes. So let's get rid of that. Now you see a new scene I set up earlier. Picture of my daughter. Standard stuff really. Footprints is included. What that does, as an example, you visit a place, give it a rating you'll get the GPS location on a Google map and you can input your comments as well again the buttons are quite handy we have menu 
home, call end, call start, a search button and there's a search button just pops up at the top keyboard which also works in landscape now it's quite surprising considering the um, considering the keyboard is very small in portrait and potentially worse than the iPhone I got used to it a lot quicker and the spell correction it, it is really really good seems to get the right word every single time the other thing I like is the fact that <coughs> for example that there is a battery meter it's just a widget downloaded from Android Marketplace this ability to install new themes widgets, small tools and the variety of free applications it is almost bewildering it's it's very refreshing it's, the openness of what we can do here makes a huge difference it just works and here's an example of music so that's a song that's preloaded and it's pretty dire the music quality is really really good it's way ahead of um, almost anything else I've heard other small touches drag down the top bar you get your recent notifications and that can be anything from emails to SMS to even synchronizing with your MS Exchange account and I could be here all day looking at all of the things that are included but it's safe to say that it's been an extremely impressive first day got a slight concern about the battery uh, I'm not it's not dreadful but I'm not convinced it's going to be a power user's battery I'd probably put it on a par with the iPhone at the moment which probably means it's sort of dreadful but let's give it time to bed in and see where we go from here but it's it's close to flawless in the way it works it, it almost brings together WebOS the the quality of PIM from Blackberry and the quality of the multimedia from the iPhone it's a highly impressive effort and it's certainly one of the nicest phones I've used to date is it enough to make me move from the iPhone it possibly is you know and that's a real shock because as a phone it's much better than the iPhone very few smartphones aren't to be honest when it comes to things like core quality data input as an entertainment device and for the sheer fun factor alone and flexibility it's on a par with the iPhone obviously the App Store is a huge advantage for the iPhone but let's not underestimate Android Marketplace there's an awful lot of good stuff in there much of it is free and as an example the latest version of Copilot Live probably the best smartphone GPS software out there is on there for £22 which gives you an idea of the kind of value we're looking at next time I'll be looking in more detail at each of the applications included that's it for now the Hero is available from Clove at www.clove.co.uk and it's well priced at just shy of £400. Thanks for listening.